we look at what we've got tonight and we're going to start with the temperatures that we had this morning and mention we might get as low as 65 in the North Shore. Well, in Tickfaw, just near Hammond, you did it. 66 in Bogalusa. Now, this was the heat of the city and around the lake that we held into all that heat, which is very typical. The concrete in the city. We even had 71 Bell Chase, 73 in Ahoma. High temperatures today, 94 for many. Again, with the lower humidity was a little bit bearable. Real time temps, still those 80s around in the city. We may not fall much below that 81 degree mark like we did this morning. 74 already Mogalusa. Dew point still right around 70, some upper 60s. Let's see the temperature trend over the next few days. I'll show you about why I've taken the temps down for Friday into Saturday. But then the humidity, it goes up a bit tomorrow, but it's still under 70. For us, that feels pretty comfy. We start to get 75 and 77. That's when even we begin to notice it. And it's going to be truly back this weekend. Still the bubble of heat just to our west. That bubble of heat is actually going to move kind of northeast and kind of squeeze off some systems to push them our way and take them around that high pressure and give us our rain chances. Tomorrow morning, we could start off as low as 67 to the North Shore, and I've got those 80s for the city. But some areas in the South Shore as low as 72 to 73. Tomorrow, that first chance and first rise in the humidity gives us a 20% chance for the isolated shower to storm. It's not much, but it's there. The first rain chance I've had for you in a couple of days. Temperatures real similar to what we've just gone through 93, 94, 95. And the dew points again, they're up a little bit, but still below 70, which is still okay. Bogalusa at 64. Now, the only other concern is air quality tomorrow. An air quality alert, orange air quality around New Orleans, Slidell, and Baton Rouge. That's for those that are sensitive. You've got some breathing issues. You want to limit the outdoor time pretty much all throughout the day. But it's going to be the morning drive, evening drive, the combination of exhaust that can give the worst for ozone. Those are the two worst times. Now, into Friday, you can see here in the morning hours early through Friday morning, this might actually rise our humidity from top down, actually give us the rainfall and rise the humidity levels. That's the real first chance of rain I've got coming back into the forecast. And if it's morning up till midday, moving east to west, it may give us enough cloud cover to hold temps down. It's why I've taken us to 92 officially, 91 for some cases. Uh, North Shore, we could still be pretty hot if you're going to stay out of the rain chances and clouds. 93, 94 is still in play. And there's the dew points could be back into the 70s. We're noticing it and I have that high pressure moving northeast and it's not going to be a core heat. It kind of gets kind of swished together. And what it's going to do is just keep systems moving in kind of a tropical direction. That's that east to west direction. Give us about a 40% chance of scattered storms beginning Friday, going through the weekend, going through next week too. But speaking of the tropics, still nothing in the Atlantic, Caribbean, or even in the Gulf over the next seven days. But I want to look ahead to two and three weeks from now. This is next Wednesday going into September, and there is a pretty good chance that we could develop something here in the Atlantic. But the following week after that, another chance. But you see there's the potential. Maybe this goes lesser Antilles. This goes up greater Antilles and gets caught in the Bermuda High still keeps it away from us. It's a long ways away and we still have had fairly minimal activity compared to the hyperactive forecast we had earlier. Still a fairly low humidity day tomorrow. It makes it back Friday and then the storm chances through the weekend.